Well, I heard about a Cobra that's being manufactured, that the body is made in a MIG factory in Poland. So I had to seek that out, and here it is. The two fine gentlemen standing next to me, uh, Thomas Kirkham and David Kirkham. This is uh, an amazing story, an amazing car. How did this come about? Uh, we were in the process of uh, restoring our original uh, Cobra CSX 3104, and it was very difficult for us to find and buy parts. And so we got in the process of thinking about how to go about making these parts. And that's pretty much the genesis of how this all started. And this is aluminum. This is not fiberglass. Yes, that's why we went to the MIG factory in Poland, because one day my brother-in-law bought an Iskra, which is an old MIG trainer from Poland. And he asked Thomas and I to come over and look at it, because it had some work that had to be done, some damage. And he knew we worked on Cobras and aluminum and body work. And so we went over, and when Thomas and I were looking at the airplane, we were surprised that it was, it looked very much like a Cobra in its construction. The, three-quarter inch round tubes and aluminum that was wrapped and riveted onto the tubes and instead of looking to fix the problem that he had with his airplane which I don't even remember now Thomas and I looked both at each other and we, we had the same thought with these guys they, they could probably make a Cobra they could they could make all the parts we need and Thomas said you know I bet they're out of work because the wall had come down and he found the phone number we called him up and sure enough they they were ready to go tell us about the car well, like I said, we make it at an old MiG fighter factory in Poland, the frame and body. This particular car has our latest stainless steel chassis underneath it. We took our original car, CSX 3104, and we copied it. Nut, bolt, screw, everything was identical. And then, as the years have progressed, people have wanted bigger brakes or better braking or uh, better suspensions or lighter suspension components or lighter any components in the car. And so over the years, Thomas has worked really hard on making different components that can be lighter but keeping the same geometry in the suspension and so for SEMA with Ford here we made this car especially for this show and it has all billet control arms all over to all the uppers all the lowers front and rear it's all billet a lot of it is made out of 7075 it's an aircraft alloy aluminum and the powertrain on it uh, the power we do not sell the cars with a powertrain the cars are set up for a 427 Ford of course being here with SEMA Ford has uh, graciously provided a 351 Windsor, which will work fantastic in these cars. And I understand you, there's quite a few of these out uh, on the road that you guys have built. You've been pretty successful at getting these out. We've made 350 cars now, so we're pretty happy and we're going to keep making them. The, the lines of the car are timeless. I mean, it's just a timeless design, a timeless shape. The performance is still outstanding. Uh, it's just in a remarkable car. Carroll Shelby really did a uh, you know, a bang-up job when they made this car. Also, there's a lot of really young kids that come around, and young women, young young guys come around, and they look at the car, and they say, wow, this is beautiful. And so I look at a guy who's 20, a girl who's 20 years old, and I think to myself, wow, we've got at least another 40 years of sales. Yeah. Well, it is beautiful, and I do want one, so uh, I'll start saving my nickels and dimes and seeing what I can do. Gentlemen, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a beautiful car. Thank you very much. Thank you.